Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another DIY Danny video. And today I am going to plant a couple of ferns, Christmas ferns to be exact. But first, let me show you what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm trying to do a little landscaping here. Um, like I said in my previous video, I'm trying to do is uh, trying to grow a few uh, shrubs and stuff like that. Of course, we're working down the line. These have been around for a few years. Of course, a couple of videos ago, I planted that juniper right there. And in my last video, I planted the green grape, the purple grape, and the raspberry shrubs right here. So now I have a couple of ferns that I want to lay down. This is, of course, from Walmart. I paid $5.42. It comes with two roots of the Christmas fern. So I'm thinking about putting one over here, right near the, right after this uh, raspberry, put it somewhere there. And I'm thinking about the other one, put it all the way over there. So let me just show you the fern real quickly. It's pretty simple. Of course, these are perennial. That means they grow all year round, okay? And you can see there, you can just pause that if you want to look at it. I'm trying to incorporate more plants here. Of course, we have some natural native ones that do grow here. There's one that grows there that's really beautiful. It looks like elephant ears, but they're not elephant ears. But they're very big, big leaf. They usually uh, start growing, uh, you know, by, by the middle of summer, you'll see a big, and I leave those alone. I don't cut those. Of course, I'm going to have a raised bed here also. So this lawn, I'm no longer going to be putting grass seed anymore in this area. I'm going to more focus over here for that. But here, I want to incorporate more plants. I'm going to probably grow some other vegetables somewhere, uh, like cucumber, stuff like that. But a lot of it is going to be in the raised bed. That's going to occupy this right here. That will be in a future video coming soon. And again, let's go back to the fern. As you can see... So they grew up to 24 uh, to 2 feet tall and um, yeah that up to uh, 1 to 2 feet actually what's it 1 to 2 excuse me 1 to 2 mm. inches excuse me sorry about that yeah I don't have my reading glasses on sorry so yeah, to 2 feet is a small fern but I want to put one around here I want to start uh, filling up some uh, landscaping stuff over here because again this is where I get kind of ponding when it rains so I want these ferns and these shrubs and to soak up a lot of that water especially after the rain so this is why I'm doing this too it's kind of like a flood management project I'm doing and I'm going to incorporate other stuff and that'll be in future videos so let's just uh, uh, dig a spot here for the uh, fern and let's dig the other spot. So of course I've overlooked this part here as you can see. Um, highlights, uh, beautiful perennials. And that's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to grow one under, uh, actually a couple of them are going to be under trees mostly. Okay, and it's pretty simple, small hole. And that's it. Okay, pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, you can pause this if you want. So, of course, there's two roots in here. So, I went and dug a hole over there. One there and one by the spruce tree. Right over there. I went in near this tree because this is tree basically right now is the centerpiece of this yard when people walk in i want to have ferns here of course i got my juniper there i want to have a nice little and that one can grow under this tree because yes this tree get bigger and ferns are actually they're very good for that i seen several videos on there they're very good for they don't need full sun all the time and they do so that's going to work out well there so let's just uh plant the uh bulbs in so there you go. So when you open the bag, there's a bunch of soil in there, but these are the actual fern bulbs. Okay, it's just two of them. One, and this is the second one right here. Okay, this is it right here. That's it. Just the root. Okay, so all that is, the rest of it is just soil. 
And actually, this one is already, as you can see, it's already sprouting. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to plant it. Actually, we're going to plant it this side up for this one. Okay, very simple. It's very small. Um, only a couple of inches deep. Uh, I dug a hole a little deeper than that, so I'm going to back for a little bit and keep this right above, right below the... Right, actually, right there. It's a couple of more right there. There you go. Look at that. Even this one. There you go. See? So, a couple of inches or so. And that's it. Okay? And of course, now that I planted it, there it is. I'm going to two times zoom it. As you can see, it's right there, right there, to my finger. That's the part that's germinating already. So, of course, I want to expose that one. Okay, so that one is ready. And all we're going to do is water it. And we're going to water it every every other day for a couple of weeks or so. Because these are perennials, they'll be fine. Okay, so... Gotta get in there. Sorry about me shaking the camera. It's kind of windy out here. There you go. That is the one for that one. And let's go to the other one. And of course, this is the other one by the Colorado Spruce. As you can see, that one is a lot bigger. It's actually two of them already. And that's going to be next to my beautiful Colorado Spruce. Okay. So there you go. So they both planted. I just got to water them. So there you go, I watered it. So now, just gotta keep watering it every, every every day or so. For at least a couple of weeks. As you can see, this one already had a couple of them germinating, so they'll do fine. So one Christmas fern is there. The other one is over here, following the line of the ones I recently planted. It is right there, okay? Yeah, no, I need to fix this thing here. This thing is blowing. I need to tie wrap that thing there. Sorry. So there it is right there. And there you go. Okay. And now we're good to go until I pick up a couple of more things. But it's looking nicely. And, of course, I'll give you progress reports on it as it grows. And how to maintain it. Let me zoom out. And there you go. So, two Christmas ferns. And did quite a bit of work the last day. And now, you got to go take a break. So, there you go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.